lo 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 it's in SRI. I'm here with another Wi-Fi battle so last night I was I don't know I was just bored and drew this girl named girl prodigy X she was like oh Inester let's have a battle and I'm like okay I'm bored I have nothing better to do so this is what came out about it make sure to check girl prodigy out in the description below she actually has some good Wi-Fi battles over on her channel so let's just hop right into it all right so Julie is issuing a challenge I decided to lead off with my Tyranitar because I knew from the team preview I would be having to deal with the Galvantula so I made the right prediction the Galvantula is here I thought that with the th the I thought that she'd want to switch out right here to conserve this Galvantula, but she was like, nope, I'm just going to let it off to just set up the sticky web and just die. So that's why I went for the Fire Blast, predicting the Aegislash switch, because the rock, the Stone Edge, actually I actually have Rock Side on this thing, was very obvious, so I thought that she'd want to just preserve the Charlotte, but she decided not to, and for some reason this turn she decided to go for the Energy Ball instead of the Bug Buzz. I'm not sure if she knew that Bug was super effective against... Me, but I decided to go for the Stealth Rock because I knew that this, I thought this Galvantula would die to the Sandstream this turn, but unfortunately she do, the Galvantula does live this turn, so I'm starting to think, oh god, what does want to take this next energy ball? So I decided to switch right out into my Zapdos just because I, it is Assault Fest, so, and it does have a decent amount of special defense bulk added to it, so she does go for the Bug Buzz this turn, which she should have done the first turn. And it does uh, pitiful damage, and Charlotte will be dying to this Sandstream this turn, so that's a good plus for me. So I'm now up 5-0, and Zapdos is going to be taking some of this damage. So now she decides to take, ah, she decided to bring out her Mystique, and I was start. I thought that oh, I'm assault fast. I can take this Ice Beam most likely, pretty nicely wrong I go all the way down to 59 that was pretty pitiful and I thought the signal beam would be a lot stronger because I am max special attack and this I'm assuming this is now a an assault vest war right here so the the sand stream is starting to get the better of me so I have to switch out and I knew that she'd most likely go for the ice beam again so I decided to switch out into my Caesar predicting that and I don't really care the sticky web can slow me down she does go for the ice beam you guys will see that it will do pitiful damage actually it does about 10% uh, of that so I decided to go for the pursue just because I don't know I knew that she'd want to switch out and I'm like you know what she can't really do anything to me so the mystique is now gone and I do have an early 4-0 lead right now which is pretty nice for me so she brings out the clef key and I'm like, well, I'm choice banded. I'm not about to do nothing with pursue. So I decided to switch out into my Zapdos, sort of fearing the T-Wave as well. But she decides to go for the Reflect, which was the safer play, the smarter play, and overall good play. So after all of this uh, leftovers and shenanigans, I decided to go for the Heat Wave thinking that I would do about a decent amount of damage. She reveals that she wants to go for the light screen and I just realized that she did not have the light clay. Uh, this because she revealed she had the leftovers. Probably should have mentioned that. So I unfortunately do get the burn. I sort of hate getting the hacks in the game. I try to prevent as many hacks as possible. But that, hacks like this just like are unavoidable so I feel bad but I guess it doesn't really matter Clef Key doesn't really re rely on its uh, physical base stats so I go for the the safe heat wave again because I didn't know if this Clef Key wanted to stay in again attempt to foul play me to death but he just Julie just had to bring in the Starmie and I'm like I'm not about to have any of this ice beam but unfortunately for me, as I bring in my Tyranitar, she does predict this very, very nicely and goes for the Scald, I believe, which I must give a... <laughs> I mean, I made the really, really obvious play. I mean, she didn't even need Ice Beam to kill me, and I think the crit did matter, considering how much spe special defense and I'm, I am in the the sand. So Life Orb and Sandstream does take a good chunk of... Uh, Starmie's HP out, but thankfully I do have the Focus Sash Alakazam to help me out on this turn. Skull didn't even break me down to my Focus Sash, thankfully, so this Starmie is gonna die, not gonna die, which is really unfortunate for me, because I thought that this Starmie would die, but I 
in the game. I didn't think this through, but I, once I saw the reflect fell off, I was like, oh no, this thing had had a freaking um, uh, light screen when I did the shadow ball, so no wonder it like survived. So now I come with that derp moment. I now have a little little loss, I think, right now. So I send in the Caesar just to go for the safe bullet punch because I'm not about to have this Starmie run rapid on my in an attempt to go for Scald Burns. So I'm just going to go for the safe bullet punch because I knew the Starmie couldn't survive a Stealth Rock. So there goes that. And now Julie decides to bring in the Clef Key. I'm like, please don't be setting up her flex again. I'm thinking that she might go for her foul play. But she goes for the Swagger. So she's the foul Swagger kind of set. So I'm starting to I'm like, no, I cannot be here. I cannot be here. Don't hit yourself, Caesar. And Caesar does hit herself. And I'm like, massive face palm. I'm like, no, you are so stupid. Why are you doing this to me? So the Klefki is going to be recovering some more HP. So this is going to be more annoying for me. If I actually broke through the confusion, this battle would have ended up a little different. So Julie, instead of trying to kill me, she was like, you know what? Reflect is more important. I snap out of the confusion. I'm like, wow. Set up the reflect. And I do happen to get the kill. I'm not, I was, pre I'm pretty sure it was relatively close to me dying. <laughs> Or relatively close to her living so she decides to bring in the Victini I'm not super familiar about Victini so I decided to switch out into my speed demon predicting some kind of fire move but unfortunately for me she does go for the fusion bolt she is just making all the predictions on me right now in the beginning I was making all the predict all the predictions and now she is and fusion bolt does do a lot not enough to one hit KO but Definitely to 2 hit KO, and I'm I don't have anything else that wants to be taking a fusion bolt. So Speed Demon is not going to be playing any factor in this game besides wasting some of that PP on that fusion bolt. Sorry, buddy. So I decided switching switching Brock check, thinking that I can. I didn't know that it was a choice choice a uh, choice um set was relatively common for Victini, so I decided to go for the. Sucker Punch, but she was like, yeah, I'm not about to bolt, I'm not about to volt, <laughs> volt, but, uh, bolt strike, actually I went for the sub predict, wow, I think I might have been at this point like asking her, asking her, I was like, what is, what are your common sets for your big team, someone tweet, told me like, oh, um, Choice Scarf is a very common set, so I was like, oh, uh, unless this thing wants to get T fusion bolts, then I'll be fine. So I decide to sub and I do go for the brick break because I don't want that reflex staying up anymore. Caesar is trying to set up on me. I'm like, oh no, oh no, this thing is trying to do some nasty work against me. And for some reason, some odd reason, I don't know why that later in this, in like, no, next turn, next turn, you'll see that this whole not having a fully IV bred or IV train IV bred yeah IV bred Pokemon comes to comes to bite me in the butt because I went for the sucker punch. Apparently we had a speed tie because first turn I beat her, second turn she beat me. So apparently we had like some kind of speed tie. So I send in my Caesar. I'm like oh, okay this is gonna be annoying. I can't really do anything. I'm forced to go for the bullet the I think I go for the brick break, but he for some reason has <laughs> The rock smash. I'm like, excuse me, what is this? My, that was just this close, about three HP off of killing me. So now she sends in her Victini, and I'm like, oh no, do I keep the Zapdos? I think I had Zapdos left. Zapdos left for Death Fodder. So I was like, okay, most likely it might go for the Fusion Bolt because the uh, Fusion. No, she'll go for the V Create because the Fusion Bolt won't be able to do that much against these Zapdos so I knew so I was like okay maybe after the V fusion defense drop I might be able to kill the Victini so I decided to fodder off the Zapdos I'm like all right Caesar this is your moment to shine please for all of the love of God please kill this Victini with the bullet punch please I do go first, the bullet punch is going down and I'm not able to kill it. The resistance is enough to pull it through and Girl Prodigy was able to win the game. Hats off to her, it was a good battle and I don't know, I'm not sure where 
little things that I could have fixed, but aside from maybe you predicting that, preventing some of those hacks from happening. But if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, comment on how great of a battler or how I could have improved on that battle. And don't forget to check out Julie in the description below. And this has been Nestor, and I will see you guys later.